There's no legitimate reason why you should skip breakfast, especially when there are so many delicious breakfast foods that you have yet to try. There are plenty of breakfast foods you deserve to taste at least once, so do yourself a favor and make sure you try these. If you've never had soul food for breakfast, you better hope you get the chance, because you'll regret not trying it at least once. Chicken and waffles may sound like an odd pairing, but don't knock it until you try it, because once you give it a whirl, you'll never go back to bland breakfast food again. All you need for a proper chicken and waffles meal is a stack of waffles, to which you can add butter and syrup if you wish. Then you get one or two pieces of fried chicken, put it on the plate, eat it together, and praise whoever invented this stupendous combo because, seriously, this is what all hearty breakfast should be about. If you head to the South, you may be blessed with the opportunity to eat shrimp and grits for breakfast. This breakfast food is especially popular in the states of Georgia and South Carolina, although there's a good chance you'll find it elsewhere, too. If you've never had grits, it's basically coarsely ground and boiled cornmeal. You can top it with any number of things, but when shrimp is added to the mix, it's nothing short of divine, especially when it's seasoned with paprika, black pepper, Italian seasoning, Cajun seasoning, and then piled high with cheddar cheese. Sometimes you'll even find small pieces of ham in your shrimp and grits, which adds another layer to the flavor of this epic breakfast meal. There are a ton of ways to make oatmeal. You can make it in the refrigerator overnight, use a slow cooker, or just heat it up quickly in the microwave. No matter how you decide to make it, what really matters is what you mix into your oatmeal. There's a world full of options, but when you cut to the chase, there's nothing that can compete with berries. While you can use frozen berries in oatmeal, fresh berries usually end up tasting better. Popular berries to put in oatmeal include strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. But don't miss out on trying blackberries and huckleberries as both of those will keep that morning oatmeal something you're looking forward to. Greek yogurt and muesli is a glorious combination that you should enjoy at least once before your time on this earth has come to an end. Compared to regular yogurt, Greek yogurt is strained multiple times which makes it thicker. And muesli, an oatmeal dish that has rolled oats and other ingredients such as seeds, nuts, and dried chunks of fruit, is the perfect companion. Mix these two things together the next time you're eating breakfast, and you'll have a delicious and filling treat that'll make you understand why it's such a wonderful marriage. If you want a delicious breakfast from a fast food eatery, the Egg McMuffin is king. The Egg McMuffin debuted back in 1971, and nearly 50 years later, this breakfast sandwich is still why McDonald's has a better breakfast menu than all their fast food competitors. If you've never eaten one, it's time to change that before death finds you. An Egg McMuffin has egg, Canadian bacon, and American cheese, all piled on an English muffin that's buttered to perfection. But wait, there's more. Considering this McDonald's breakfast food is cheap and only has 300 calories, you can justify eating one each and every morning on your way to work. When compared to regular American waffles, Belgian waffles are a completely different species. Most notably, Belgian waffles are crispier, have deeper and bigger pockets, and are typically larger. If you hate mushy waffles that lose their form the moment your fork makes contact, switch to Belgian waffles and don't look back. You'll find that the sturdiness of these waffles make them easier to eat, and their hardiness will fill you up faster. Add a generous amount of maple syrup and butter, or use them as the base for a breakfast sandwich, like White Castle has and you'll be on your way to a memorable breakfast. Ah, the morning consumption of mass quantities. Grid-like breakfast slabs, extruded mammal tailings, seared strips of swine flesh, and flattened chicken embryos. I will enjoy it. Have you ever had one of those days that calls for a Bloody Mary for breakfast? Infuse your Bloody Mary with bacon, and you'll get the vodka you need in a form that passes for legitimate breakfast food. You can either buy a bacon Bloody Mary mix or let a few pieces of cooked bacon rest in a liter of vodka in the refrigerator for two or three days. Whether you go the pre-made route or the do-it-yourself route, try this boozy breakfast idea at some point before you perish, preferably on a weekend. If you've never eaten Pop-Tarts for breakfast, you'll need to fix that right away by heading to your local grocery store and picking up a box. If you need help selecting a flavor, the best Pop-Tart flavors include s'mores, blueberry, strawberry, and cherry. 
And while most flavors of Pop-Tarts are delightful, you should avoid those that are unfrosted, as the frosting is one of the best parts of the entire equation. Some people heat up their Pop-Tarts in the microwave, but that's sacrilegious. These goodies should be placed in a toaster before going directly into your mouth, at which point you'll be grateful that there's two in the package. If you're familiar with Creole cuisine, you know all about kalas. These dumplings are sometimes called rice donuts or rice fritters, as they're made from… what? That's right, they're a combination of rice, eggs, flour, sugar, and yeast. Once the batter is ready, this breakfast food is deep-fried until it's a golden brown. The last step is to sprinkle powdered sugar on top and then serve it hot. If you're eating these for the first time in your life, order a cup of coffee and add some hot milk to it. Then dip the callus in the coffee. The resulting taste will make your taste buds cheer. It's impossible to talk about delicious breakfast foods and not mention donuts from Krispy Kreme. Sure, these sugary treats won't jive with your diet plan, but everyone deserves to indulge in one of these donuts at least once in their life. Otherwise, existence would be too gloomy. The key to Krispy Kreme is the freshness of their donuts, because they truly have no rival in that department. If you're new to Krispy Kreme, start with the original glazed, and then the sky's the limit, because each and every one of their varieties is something to be savored especially alongside a hot cup of their coffee. If you wake up starving one morning and you just want to taste a bit of everything, find somewhere in your town that serves a full English breakfast. While what you get differs slightly depending on the restaurant, you can expect to get sausages, bacon, fried mushrooms, grilled tomatoes, toast with butter, and eggs. The eggs can either be scrambled or fried, and if it's really authentic, you'll also get baked beans and black pudding. To drink, go with coffee or tea in addition to a glass of orange juice. This is truly a breakfast feast that you should try once before you die. If you don't, you'll have missed out on something special. Cinnamon Toast Crunch tends to be a polarizing cereal option. People either love this cereal or hate it. There's rarely ever any middle ground. If you've never eaten it before, you should definitely do so at least once. Once you do, you'll be able to pick a side. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is exactly what the name suggests. Crunchy squares of goodness that have been toasted and then sprinkled with a lot of cinnamon and sugar. Once you're done with your bowl of this cereal, the remaining milk in your bowl is heavenly. In fact, drinking the remaining milk is almost as pleasing as eating the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal itself. Mmm, buckle up. Let's see where we shall go next. Ah, the Danish. <laughs> Clearly from Brussels. A bear claw is a pastry that is somewhere between a Danish and a fritter. Once you look at a bear claw, you'll know exactly why it got that name because it, well, looks like a bear's foot. Ingredients vary, however popular fillings include almond paste, cream cheese, butter pecan, cherry, apples, and grape jelly. Eat one of these for breakfast and add some excitement to your day before you head out. You don't necessarily need to eat your breakfast, as you could also opt to drink it down. A fruit smoothie is a perfectly acceptable breakfast food that will give you enough calories, vitamins, and minerals to rev up your day. While strawberry is the most popular fruit used in a fruit smoothie, that's not where you should start if you're a fruit smoothie newbie. Instead, go with a mango smoothie. You don't need to add much, if any, sugar, and the result will be a wonderful breakfast concoction that you'll be thinking about for the rest of your day. Mexican food for breakfast is always a great idea. Chilaquiles is a dish that begins with corn tortillas that are fried very gently. Next, pulled chicken, refried beans, cheese, and eggs are added on top. To finish off this spectacular dish, salsa is poured over everything. And both red salsa or green salsa are perfectly acceptable. Guacamole can be added, but it's optional. Honestly, with so many flavors competing for your attention already, you don't really need it. Just grab a fork, put on a bib, and dig in. Yo Tiao is a breakfast food that is very popular in Asia. And while it sounds easy to make, it's a difficult breakfast food to master. If you've never tried it, you should first eat it at a restaurant. So what exactly is it? Yo Tiao is basically dough that is cut into logs and then deep fried. Easy, right? The key to frying these things is that they are best when piping hot, but start out too hot to eat. When done right, 
Yu Tiao is a breakfast food that you will remember for the rest of your days on Earth. Whether you call it monkey bread, pinch me cake, bubble loaf, or sticky bread, it all tastes absolutely delicious. This stuff is basically soft, pull-apart bread that has been blessed with a generous amount of butter, cinnamon, and sugar. A popular variation incorporates coffee flavor, especially if it's going to be eaten in the morning. And sometimes, chopped pecans are also added to this coveted breakfast food. While many people eat monkey bread for breakfast, it is also sold at carnivals and fairs, as the fact that it's a finger food makes it easy to eat while on the move. Irish soda bread is a type of bread you can make from scratch relatively fast, and it makes a delectable breakfast. It's a pretty simple bread that relies on buttermilk and baking soda for the rise instead of yeast, hence the name. With just flour, salt, baking soda, and some buttermilk, you'll have a delicious filling loaf of bread that's pretty much perfect when it's topped with marmalade or butter. You can optionally add raisins into the mix for a burst of flavor, or even something like olives or sun-dried tomatoes, although that's not quite as traditional. Either way, it's still yummy. A kolache is a fruit-filled pastry that is so addicting that there's no way you could just eat one for breakfast. And there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead, grab another. The proper kolache has extremely light, puffy dough that is pleasant to bite into, making it the perfect pastry for seconds. It doesn't crumble in your fingers, and that fruit-filled center is just divine. If you're making kolaches at home, the easiest thing to do is just to use fruit pie filling. But really, the type of filling you go with is only limited by your imagination. Lemon, blueberry, apple, cherry, strawberry, and raspberry are all fantastic choices. Pancakes are just amazing. They're the breakfast food you forget about until the weekends, but when you serve them, they're always a win, right? Sure, you can mix everything from chocolate to pumpkin and from honey to bacon into your pancakes and, heck, even that cinnamon toast crunch we were talking about earlier. But nothing tops blueberry pancakes. It's the perfect add-in, and there's no wrong way to make them. If you put fresh blueberries into your pancake mix, be sure not to stir too much because you don't want your blueberries to break up. If you use frozen blueberries, you don't need to let them defrost at all. Simply add the frozen blueberries to your pancake mix, and they'll be perfect by the time they're on your fork and headed to your taste buds. You love steak. Why not eat it for breakfast? All you need to do is fry up some eggs alongside your steak, and you have a meal that you can eat for breakfast without any shame. While you can go with sirloin or strip steak, the best options are either ribeye or tenderloin. As far as the eggs are concerned, scrambled won't do. Pro tip, for a real steak and eggs breakfast, you need the eggs to be sunny side up. And if you want sauce for your steak, skip the steak sauce and reach for the Worcestershire sauce instead. Doesn't sound crazy after all, right? Eggs, bacon, sausages, hash browns, onions, six slices of white toast, double buttered on both sides with mustard, and a beer milkshake to wash it all down. If you've never heard of black and white pudding, you'll be surprised to learn that they're actually a type of sausage. A sausage that comes from the United Kingdom and Ireland, to be specific. The black pudding combines pork blood, pork fat, oatmeal, and spices. And yes, one of the ingredients really is pork blood, which means it can be something of an acquired taste. Not a fan? Try white pudding, which is a similar product, just with different spices and without the blood. Either one you choose, you can pick it up at a grocery store, and it tastes best if you fry it or grill it. They're often served with eggs or as part of a full fry-up, especially when eaten for breakfast. If the idea of an omelet for breakfast makes you yawn, you've obviously never had a Western omelet. They're so good that McDonald's once made a McMuffin out of one. And should those still be around? Yes. What makes a Western omelet, well, a Western omelet, is the addition of red bell peppers, green bell peppers, onions, and scallions. You'll also want to add diced boiled ham and a generous amount of cheese, whether it's cheddar, mozzarella, gouda, or Monterey Jack. Once the omelet is done cooking, you can add some black pepper on top to complete its transformation from boring to an exciting breakfast meal. A cinnamon roll for breakfast can get you ready for anything your day has to offer. Even if the sky is cloudy, you hate your job, and you wish you could just crawl back into bed, a cinnamon roll can lift your spirits. And best of all, you don't even need to do any of the heavy lifting. 
Instead, head to your local Cinnabon. Their cinnamon rolls are world famous for a reason. There's even a Cinnabon air freshener. Even if you're not sold on the idea of the massive, super sweet treat for breakfast, one whiff will completely change your mind. Best of all, they make a great lunch too. So if your day is off to a really bad start, order two and you'll have at least one thing to look forward to that day. Eggs Benedict is a dish that was invented in the 1800s in New York City, and now it's a popular breakfast food from sea to shining sea. If you've never experienced the wonder that is Eggs Benedict, it's basically poached eggs on top of English muffin halves and ham or Canadian bacon that's all been drenched with hollandaise sauce. Sometimes you can find Eggs Benedict with smoked salmon, bacon, or avocado slices. However, if it's your first time, start with the classic version and sprinkle a little bit of paprika on it. If you want to kick it up a notch and make it just a tad bit spicy, you can't go wrong. A crepe by itself is pretty underwhelming, as it's essentially a thin, fragile pancake. However, crepes can become delicious depending on how you dress them up. While the options are plentiful, the absolute best way to eat crepes is with Nutella and strawberries. While Nutella isn't as popular in America as it is in Europe, one taste of this creamy, chocolatey, hazelnutty spread will elevate this to a permanent spot in your kitchen cupboard. It's a must if you want to make the best crepes possible. And when you add strawberries on top, you'll have a breakfast that will start your day right. Why does pizza always seem to taste better the next morning? That's one of the universe's unanswered questions, but it's definitely true. If you ordered pizza last night but you weren't able to finish it off, just eat it the next morning. And here's the important part, don't reheat it. It might sound like the sort of pizza shenanigans that a high school student would pull, but here's the thing, it's amazing. And not only is it good, but it's so much better than improperly reheated pizza. You know, the rubbery stuff. You'll find that the flavors will be more intense, the cheese will be more satisfying, and the crust will have a more enjoyable texture. Pro tip, the more cheese and pepperoni, the better it'll be. It's so good, in fact, that you might find that when you're ordering a pizza to eat for dinner, you just might want to order another one just for breakfast, and maybe lunch too. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.